Bye. I'll see you. <laughs> Say hi. I have to let everyone know. Hi, Auntie Kimmy. Luna! Luna Garza Hillman. Um, <laughs> I just officiated a wedding and my fourth wedding this week. Fourth wedding. Also have a retreat going on and it's been a very busy week and it's the weekend and it's fine. It's just what it is and I have a wedding next week too that I'm officiating. <sighs> Now you might be wondering, Sid, why so many weddings? And there's a lot more than I usually do. I do them if Jeff can't do them, and then I do them. But why so many? And I'm not here to, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that there's more weddings uh, because I'm officiating them. That would be ridiculous. I am gonna say that more people have decided to get married because they know that I will be officiating the weddings. Those are two completely separate things. Kid's bike needs to be fixed. Luckily, I work at a resort with a bike shop. That's what I'm talking about. How's it going? Hey, Mitchell. How's it going? Well, oh, that there in the shop was Blake, who, because he was wearing my fancy race hat, is because he's the co-volunteer coordinator. Small town, everybody wears multiple hats. I'm also the sheriff. That chick. Hi, Mo, nice tail. Hello. Super 8 film projector. I'm not gonna bore you with more like stuff, uh, but I will say this. <clears throat> For my birthday this year, I can't remember if I've mentioned this on a vlog. I'm giving a gift to myself, which is that I asked the Sid Hillman Quartet, my band, three of the four being still in Los Angeles, if they would be game to get together and play one show in Los Angeles in December. My birthday is December 21st, and so I was thinking like early December, and they all said yes. And so, um, that's exciting, and also I gotta figure out where to play, and also what to play, and, hard to admit, but I have to relearn some of my songs. They're songs I wrote and can't quite remember how to play. So, this, here's some Super 8, is full of like all my notes, and just stuff, and I hope that I have made notes about, on some of my lyrics, of chords. Otherwise, I gotta go back in and try to figure them out by listening to them, and that's kind of a hassle. So that's what I'm gonna try to do today. Uh, and this, by the way, formally, is part of my music step that is on my steps list. You guys wanna see it? In my pocket. Look at all this. All lyrics. This is gonna be a... This is gonna be a nightmare. That was kind of a bust, meaning I'm gonna have to go back and listen to uh, songs from my albums to figure these songs out, or go back through old cassette tapes uh, where I was making notes as I'm writing, and I think that would take far too long. So this is gonna be uh, a bigger 
project than I had hoped it would be. Should us open the door, come. You said it'd be like again. Well, that was a bust. Went to pick up the kids from a party and neither of them uh, is coming home with me. Uh, they're going to sleep over at the house. So Prim and I went on a nice drive to the beach only to turn around and now we're heading back home. Whew. Relax. Listen to how quiet this is. Almost no sound. That's why I did, I got this thing because I can just talk here and then I can sit back and I can move the microphone and I don't have to hear it. So I've been getting questions about the new podcast that hasn't happened yet, but it's gonna pretty soon. I think, I hope, anyhow, this new microphone and the new setup, all, all the things that kind of got to bug me uh, during the last podcast, I retooling. So I got my own space, I got a, a more, uh, all the less annoying uh, microphone setup, things that just kind of, I come in, plug in, and I'm good, so that's that. But that's not what I wanted to talk about today. What I wanted to talk about today was questions I get from people who are like, you know, doing the small steps thing or in my program, and they're saying, you know, they don't necessarily know what their goals are, or they don't really know what to do. Uh, they don't necessarily have a passion. And I think, and I think this is partly why me, cleaning out this studio that you guys have seen in other videos and just kind of finally diving in and really getting a space that works is I think it's less important to try to figure out what your passion is uh, if you don't know, if you haven't stumbled upon something that you absolutely love. I would just kick that can down the road for a while. Uh, what I would suggest trying is just kind of getting your, in a way your affairs in order, that's kind of morbid. Fix your situation, I'll put it that way. Get, get organized as best you can. Get rid of crap, uh, ideally in your, in your head and in the world. I'm not necessarily like a minimalist per se, but getting your space in order, getting things organized, um, that inspires sometimes, stuff comes up. You, you, you stumble in a way. It's not a direct like, what am I passionate about? What, what is gonna give me purpose and meaning? I, you can't, I don't know if you, you can't force that. You can't force it. But you can create an environment in your life wherein there's a, a distinct possibility that things could emerge. And I think that's first things first. You know what I'm saying? First things freaking first. I know things that I'm passionate about. Music is one of them. Obviously, my health and happiness practice, my small steps practice. These are things. And, and me clearing out this studio and I, I can see a very clear, direct relationship between me playing music like I did yesterday uh, and and you know, doing my live Q and A's from here, like it definitely has jump started things in me, meaning wanting to do this new podcast and things like that. But for those of you who don't necessarily know what you're passionate about, uh, that I think there's a better chance of that coming along if you just say, well, let me at least clear out the stuff that's clogging up the the pipes. And I think, uh, man, that that's a huge help. That that'll kind of get you there faster than you ever thought before. On that note, uh, I really would like to be here right now in this space working, but I am gonna head over to a horse show. You guys know how I feel about horse shows. <clears throat> Luna's about to go on and I wanna catch a little bit of, uh, of that whole thing. I'll show you three seconds of, of that whole scene and uh, you guys have a good week. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand.